फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर मैथमेटिक्स पेपर को आलजिब्रा यूनिट थ्री लेक्चर ट्वेल्व ऑन प्राइम आइडियल एंड मैक्सिमल आइडियल बाय डॉक्टर पी रामलू हेड डिपार्टमेंट मैथमेटिक्स एम एस गवर्नमेंट आर्ट्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज महबूब नगर तीरम लेट और बी ए कम्पिटेट रिंग विथ यूनिटी एंड एज एन आइडियल ऑफ और देन आर बाई ए इज इंटरगल डोमाइन इफ एंड ओनली एज प्राइम आइडियल so i am taking that let r be a competitive ring with unity and a is an ideal of r then r by a is integral domain then a is prime ideal so i want take first of all r by a is prime integral domain i want to show a is prime ideal uh, i want take uh, next to a is prime ideal then i want to prove that a r by a is integral domain proof let r be a competitive ring with unity and a is an ideal of r The factoring R by A is written as so O plus A is that R belonging to R. Let uh, here A plus A O belong in R by A and B plus belongs to R by A. I am taking an elements of the form A plus A belongs to R by A and B plus A belonging to R by A. Necessary condition. Let R by A is uh, integral domain. I want to prove that uh, A is maximum. Uh, sorry, A is prime ideal. Which implies so R by A is integral domain. Which implies R by A is competitive with unity, and R by A has no zero divides. Already we know that R is competitive with unity, which implies R by A is also competitive with unity. Already just now yesterday we proved this theorem. Okay. So uh, since R by A is integral domain, R by A has no zero divisors. Now we have to prove that uh, A is Prime ideal. Let I'm taking that. Oh, a comma b belongs to R comma a b belongs to A. If I take that, oh, I want to show that for proving a is prime ideal, I want to show that oh, either a belongs to b a or b belongs to a. I want to show this. So according to I'm taking that a comma belongs to R and a b belongs to A, which implies. Oh, Uh, this can be written as a b plus a equal to a. Since we know that already properties are coset, so a belongs to a, which implies a plus a equal to a, which implies the uh, the product of uh, coset. So by using that, uh, this can be written as a plus a into b plus a that equal to zero plus a, where zero plus a is zero of R by a. Zero element in R by A, so zero plus A is zero element in R by A. So which implies so A plus A into B plus A zero plus A, which implies A plus uh, capital A belongs to zero plus A, or B plus capital A equal to zero plus A. Why? Because since so R by A is an integral domain, so integral domain nothing but so oh, A B belongs to R by A, which implies A is zero, A B equal to zero implies. So, A equal zero or B equal zero. That is integral domain. So that's why A into B equal to zero, which implies A equal to zero or B plus B equal to zero. That means uh, here uh, my ring is R by A. That's why I am taking A plus A, an element of R by A, into B plus A equals zero plus A. That equal to this equal to A zero plus A or B plus A equal to zero plus A. Which nothing but uh, A plus A equal to A or B plus A equal to A. Or uh, this nothing but oh, a plus a equal to a, which implies a equal to a. B plus a equal to a, which implies b belongs to a. Therefore, I am taking that a b belongs to a, which implies a equal to a, a belongs to a, or b belongs to a. Therefore, a is prime ideal. Sufficient condition. Now I want I want to take that a is prime ideal. So since R is commutative with unity. R by A is also a commutative ring with unity. Now we have to show that R by A has no zero divisor. So, so A is prime ideal, but we have to use the condition A B belongs to A, which implies either A equal to A or B equal to A. I want to use this relation. So now we have to show that R by A has no zero divisor. So, let I am taking that A plus A comma B plus A belongs to R by A. So a plus a into b plus a equal to zero plus a. So by I want to show that uh, either a plus a equal to zero or b plus a equal to zero. 
that means uh, here zero plus here okay? the product of uh, uh, the numbers how can we write as uh, the product of cosets so a b plus a equal to a zero plus i but a this if i multiply this remember a b plus a which implies a b plus a equal to a which implies a b plus a since you already know that a plus a equal to a implies a b plus a cosets properties are cosets a b belongs to a since a is in prime ideal uh, a b belongs to a which implies a equal to a a belongs to a or b belonging to a a belongs to a which implies it has a plus a equal to a or b plus a equal to a by properties of cosets. So, a plus a equal to can have 0 plus a or b plus a equal to 0 plus a. Therefore, a plus a into b plus a equal to 0 plus a which implies what we get here a plus a equal to 0 plus a or b plus a equal to 0 plus a. Therefore, r by a is an integral domain. Hence, proved theorem. This is very important for the examination point of view maximal ideal let a is an ideal of ring r and a not equal to r comma a is said to be maximal ideal of r if uh, b is an ideal of r such that a subset of b subset of r which implies a equal to b or b equal to r that means so uh, there does not exist any ideal between uh, a and r which means other definition i am taking that uh, a is an uh, ideal of ring r is said to be maximal ideal here a not equal to r if does not exist any proper ideal which is containing a in r that means uh, if i take any ring so uh, i am taking that a is some ideal of r between a and r does not exist any ideal then we say that a is maximal ideal if i take any ideal so uh, that means uh, between uh, ideal and ring does not exist to any ideal for example i am taking that z comma plus comma dot is a ring i am taking two z comma plus is an ideal of r i have nothing but z comma plus comma dot so uh, uh, between 2z and z plus 1 uh, there does not exist any ideal pro any proper ideal between 2z comma z so therefore 2z is maximal ideal suppose i'm taking z this is 2z that means between z and 2z does not exist to any ideal therefore 2z is prime ideal if i take similarly 3z comma plus common dot, 5z comma plus common dot, 7z comma plus common dot, 11z comma plus common dot. That means uh, I want to multiply uh, to z prime number that are all maximal ideal. I want to take other example. z comma plus common dot is a ring. 4z comma plus common dot is an ideal of z comma plus common dot. I'm verifying whether 4z comma plus common dot is maximal ideal or not. See, if I take this ideal, this is z, here 4z. 4z containing 2z, 4z sorry, 2z containing 4z. That means uh, there exists an ideal 2z such that 4z such that equal to 2z. Therefore, 4z comma plus comma dot is not maximal ideal of z comma plus comma dot. So uh, that means if I take 4z, z you can take 4z and z between 4z and z there exists to an ideal 2z that's why 4z comma plus comma dot is not maximal ideal if i take similarly 6z comma 8z comma 10z comma plus r if i take like this so uh, these are all, all not maximal ideal why because if i 6z there exists two ideals 2z comma 3z between uh, z and 6z comma plus therefore this is not natural right? if i take a z complex comma dot there exist two ideals between z and a z that is 2z and 4z so therefore a z complex comma dot is also not maximal similarly if i take this uh, there exist two uh, ideals so between 10z and nz or uh, 2z and 5z therefore 10z uh, complex comma dot is not maximal ideal if the here if it has factors so, then it is not maximal ideal so other example i am taking that 
4 jet complex common dot is maximal out of 2 jet complex common dot so very interesting right you can see here 4 jet complex common dot is not maximal out of jet complex common dot but 4 jet complex common dot is maximal ideal of 2 jet complex common dot why because there does not exist any ideal between 2 jet and 4 jet that means there is no existing proper ideal that's why 4 jet complex common dot is not sorry is, is a maximal ideal Okay, so uh, if I take NJ complex commodity, it maximal if of Z complex commodity, if finally if N is prime. So I am verifying other thing, Z X plus 6 multiplication model 6. Uh, so what are the ideals of this thing, uh, singleton 0? Uh, that means Papa brings first of all I am finding that. What are the factors of 6, 0, 0 nothing but 6 only. Uh, okay, I want to find generators first of all. Okay. Generator 0 equal to singleton 0, generator 1 equal to Z6, generator 2 equal to 0, 2, 4, generator 3 equal to 0, 3, generator 4 equal to 0, 4, 2, that equal to generator 2. So that means uh, uh, the regular Z6, so I think that generator 1, 5, Z6 both are same, and 2 is different, 3 is different, generator 2 equal to generator 4. So I am verifying that Z, uh, Z, uh, is generator 0 is maximal ideal. There exists some ideal. So, I am verifying is this maximal ideal. Generator 0 is maximal. That means uh, there exists an ideal between singleton 0, generator 0 and Z6 such so that generator 2. So, therefore, generator, two is, generator 0 is not maximal ideal. I am taking generator 2. Let's come right. So, see you can observe here. Uh, generator 2 nothing but uh, an ideal of Z6. So, between generator 2 and z6 is there exist any proper ideal any ideals no not possible why because uh, here generator 0 to 4 and after z6 only between generator 2 and z6 there does not exist uh, any ideals so, therefore generator 2 is maximal ideal similarly generator 3 plus 6 multiplication model 6 is also maximal that means uh, there does not exist to any ideal which is containing Z3 of Z6. That means if I take generator 3 and Z6, there does not exist any ideal. Therefore, generator 3 is maximal ideal. Note. Note is very important for examination point of view. Otherwise, so, uh, in any entrance of point of view, the maximum ideal Zn plus artificial model n, multiplication model n, is uh, generator d comma additional model n comma multiplication of n where d is prime factor of n where d is prime factor of n that means if i if i give some ring zn multiplication of additional model n what is the uh, maximal of this if i ask you to find the maximal of this we have to find the prime factor then generator this so multiplication of addition model n multiplication model n is prime maximal ideal so you can easily write tackle problem 29 find all maximal ideals in jd8 or maximal ideals of jd8 or whatever may be find all maximal maximal ideals in jd8 z10 z12 zn m to find all maximal ideal in Z8, Z10, Z12, Zn. Principles. Ideal. Maximal ideal. Note just now we written something, right? The maximal ideal of Zn, additional model n, multiplication model n, generator D, additional model n, multiplication model n, where D is prime factor of n. Method. Z8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Clearly it is a ring. All under, right? What are the factors of A2? 1, 2, 4, 8. Out of this factor, what are the prime factors? So, we have only 2 is prime factor. Therefore, generator 2, multiplication model of addition model 8, uh, multiplication model 8 is an, is a maximal ideal of Z8, comma, plus 8, comma, multiplication 8, where generator nothing but 0, 2, 4, 6. Let Z10. Z10 equal to singleton 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Z10 nothing but. It is a clear ring. The factors of Z10 are 10 are 1, 2, 5, 10. Out of 10, uh, what are the prime factors? We have 2 and 5 are the prime factors. 
the prime factors of 10 are 2 comma 5 therefore generated to addition model 10 multiplication model 10 other other end to generated 5 addition model 10 multiplication model 10 or maximal ideals of z10 addition model 10 multiplication model 10 where generated to is 0 to 4 6 8 and generated 5 are 0 comma 5 let us take z2 well z2 well equal to generator 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 clearly z2 well is a ring the factors of 12 are 2 and other 1 2 3 4 6 12 out of these factors 2 comma 3 are the prime factors so therefore generator 2 multiplication model 12 multiplication model 12 and generator 3 multiplication model 12 multiplication model 12 are maximal ideals of z2 well plus 12 multiplication model 12 where gender 2 is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and gender 3 is 0, 3, 6, 9. So, ZN 0, 1, 2, 3, N minus 1 clearly it is a ring. The maximal ideals of ZN is gender D, addition model N, multiplication model N where D is prime factor. So, result you can write easily the maximal ideals of ZN are gender 2 and maximal ideals of gender, uh, ZN is gender 2 and gender 3, uh, sorry, gender 2 and gender 5. The maximum value of GT value is gender 2 and gender 3 and maximum value of GTN is gender D plus additional N, additional N where uh, D is prime factor of uh, N, right? So, this end the lecture. Thank you for watching this.